If you're suffering with plantar fasciitis, then I hope this video will be useful in advising you on how you can make the most out of this terrible situation that is coronavirus. Well, one of the most significant changes we've all had to make to our lifestyles is um, the, need, the need to self-isolate, which means that a lot of us are having to take time off of work and spend a lot of time at home. So this changes our, the situation from what our lifestyles are usually like. Um, usually most of us are very busy with jobs and other commitments. Um, but all of a sudden, most, most of us are now time rich, so we have a lot more time on our hands. And we can take, um, we can take this opportunity really as, as, as a golden um, opportunity to um, put a few things in place so that we can um, make the most of treating plantar fasciitis. So one of the biggest challenges with trying to treat plantar fasciitis successfully is being consistent with a prescribed exercise program. So if you've been to see a clinician such as a podiatrist or a physiotherapist and you've been advised on doing some stretching or strengthening exercises, now this is all well and good and it's the right sort of thing to be doing to treat plantar fasciitis. The difficulty is that many of us struggle to fit um, the the regiment into a, a daily schedule that we can follow consistently as things get on top of us such as work commitments so if you aren't able to follow your stretching pro or strengthening program consistently then what that means is that you unfortunately we don't get the the gains we're trying to achieve so that for stretching that'll be increasing muscle flexibility and with strengthen exercises we're trying to strengthen up and build certain muscles to help with load capacity so now we have no excuses we've got lots of time on our hands so that we can be doing our stretching exercises consistently on a daily basis so i would encourage you to take the take this opportunity to really get on board with following that through to the letter the other opportunity is that um, if you're sat at home stroll uh, streaming through netflix um, then you're maybe sat on the sofa and you've got a lot of time in your hands, then you can also be using this time to help treat plantar fasciitis. So what you could do is use a night splint. If you don't have a night splint, I'd recommend getting yourself one. So night splints are designed to be worn at night time. So you wear it whilst you're sleeping to give your calf muscles a light stretch during the evening. And that is very helpful for pain in the morning. However, just because it's a night splint, it doesn't mean it needs to be worn at night time only. So you can wear it during the daytime. Now, for, for practical reasons, most people don't wear it during the daytime because we're up and down a lot um, and you can't walk around it in this sort of splint. But if you're sat down with your legs up on the sofa or maybe using a stool in front of a chair and you're putting your legs up, then there's nothing stopping you from wearing a night splint, splint during the daytime. So if you're sat down watching a movie or streaming through Netflix for a couple of hours, Put the splint on and then that's going to give your that's going to give your calf muscles a, a nice passive stretch whilst you're resting so it's a very effortless but also effective way at helping stretch the calf muscles um, another opportunity we can take advantage of with the self-isolation is rest so rest is a fundamental part of treating plantar fasciitis successfully so Plantar fasciitis is, a, is an overuse repetitive strain injury. So that means that the level of stress we're putting through it on a daily basis exceeds the level of stress that, it, that the tissue can tolerate. And this is why pain often is progressive throughout the day. So the more standing or the more walking you do on your feet, usually that will cause your symptoms to become progressively worse. But if we're at home and we're not able to go out and about and do the things we would usually do, then our step count is very likely to be significantly lower. And this rest for a lot of plant fasciitis sufferers will actually um, do them some good. So uh, what, can, what can be achieved with rest is tissue healing. So taking strain off of the plantar fascia so we're not using it as much will give it an opportunity to start to calm down and start the healing process. What we then need to do is take it to the next step, and this is um, getting you prepared to returning to normal activities. So hopefully once this coronavirus is all settled down and we start to return to our normal lives, um, if, we've go, if we go from doing very, very little 
i.e. sitting at home not doing anything, to going back to doing a lot of the walking or maybe running or just generally going about your normal daily activities, this is going to likely cause a significant shift in your activity levels. And this could actually exacerbate the plantar fasciitis or make it come back very, very quickly. So to counter this sort of thing and to prevent this from happening, this is where your stretching and strengthening exercises are really, really important to be doing. Because what we're able to do during this period of isolation is that you can be working on the underlying causative factors which caused the plantar fasciitis in the first place. Now, for most people, that's going to be a combination of having underdeveloped muscles, which are a little bit weak, and having tightness of the calf and hamstring muscles. So if you're doing your stretching exercises, by the time this, this isolation period is done, if you're being very diligent, hopefully your muscle flexibility will be in a much better place than it's ever been before. And that will help significantly with the plantar fascia loading stress. Also, if you're doing strengthening exercises, you're going to be improving the load capacity of the plantar fascia. So as I mentioned, plantar fasciitis is a tissue, lo tissue loading issue. So the level of stress you're putting through it exceeds what the plantar fascia can tolerate. But the plantar fascia can become stronger and it can be more uh, resistant uh, or more tolerant uh, to loading stress, just like muscles and tendons. So if you're doing loading exercises to strengthen the muscles and to load up the plantar fascia in a slow and, con and controlled manner, which isn't painful, that's going to result in increased load capacity. So if, if you're doing that consistently, basically your, your foot and lower limb is going to be more robust and it's going to be able to tolerate the stress that you're putting through it. So then when you go back to your normal activity levels, you should be in a much better place to tolerate those activities and not have a flare up or a recurrence of your plantar fasciitis. So hopefully those tips will be very useful for you um, in making the most of what is a terrible situation and Hopefully once we're through this, um, also you will also be recovering from your plantar fasciitis at the same time. I hope you found this video useful. If you're interested in other free video content and information, please check out the website www.thehealpainexpert.com. Thanks for watching and stay safe.